Hey guys, welcome back to Black Magic Beauty. My name is Trish and today I'm going to be going over my five month update for Pan That Palette. You guys have not seen me in about a month um, for a couple of different reasons. One, I've been avoiding this video because I was not really sure what I wanted to do with this palette because I hate it <laughs> and I've almost thrown it in the garbage and or the toilet several times. I haven't done that yet, but also um, apparently 2024 is just the year that everything comes out of the woodwork and I've just been dealing with a lot of shit. Um, I've been having some health issues, so I haven't had a lot of energy and or time to jump on here. So for that, I apologize. I'm behind like multiple different project videos at this point. So I'm going to do my best to just kind of get them up when I can. Anyway, for Pan That Palette, I have been working on this palette for five months now. And I, I literally, I hate this palette so much. Every single time I wear it, I feel like it makes me look sick. Like no matter what I do, something about these colors on my skin tone, it just like brings out my eye bags and all the discoloration on my face and my skin looks like weirdly yellow. And I've gotten to the point where instead of wearing this eyeshadow, I literally will opt to just not wear makeup instead because I don't want to deal with it. And that's kind of a sign that maybe I need to stop. <laughs> but I can't get myself to do that. And I think it's just because I've come so far. So last month, if you remember, I kind of challenged myself to completely finish up that one bronze shade in the corner. I'm not sure why I thought that would be a possible thing for me to do in a month, but I did actually get pretty far. I'm going to show you a picture of what it looked like last month. And this is what it looks like today. So that bronze shade is honestly almost gone, but that's not all use. Part of it is just because it broke so many times, it's getting super crumbly and I keep losing shadow out of it. But I did actually use it quite a bit. I used it as eyeliner almost every single day for a little while and then I just got super sick of it and just stopped wearing it. Um, I still have pan in the kind of warm mauve shade and I still have pan in the gold shade, but I have not hit pan yet in the purple. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do with this. Like, should I keep, should I keep working on it? Cause there's part of me that's just like, I have so many other eyeshadow palettes that I really enjoy and I really want to use, but I feel like I should be working on this one because it's my pan that palette for this year. And it's the first time I've ever done pan that palette. And I don't want to like give up on my very first pan that palette but like I just I don't enjoy wearing this I've hated it for the past five months I kept thinking maybe there was a way to make it work and there's like a couple of ways that I can kind of wear it and it looks okay but like I never enjoy my makeup those days um so I don't know let me know what you guys think and I will update you guys soon to let you know if I've decided to continue. Um, I have the feeling I will. I have the feeling I'm going to keep working on it just because I've come so far. But it just feels like such a shame to just spend all my time wearing makeup I don't like and like forcing myself to put makeup on my face. It's It seems kind of silly. But anyways, that's Pan That Palette for this month. Um, that's my five month update. So I know it was kind of short, but I didn't really have a whole lot to talk about so far. Um, I know I'm late on my project Pan Unicorn that ended on the 21st. I should have updated that almost a month ago. So I think that's probably the next thing that I will upload. I, I did do pretty well with that project, um, but that one, not a lot of people seem to be super interested in. So I, I feel like because of that, I've been kind of like putting it to the wayside and updating it. Um, 
but obviously I've got my empties video to do as well as project A to Z and I've got project graveyard coming up pretty soon as well. So stay tuned for all of that. Like I said, I'm not going to try to rush myself into putting these up just because I've been dealing with a lot, but I will be getting them up like whenever I'm really able to. And thank you guys for sticking along with me and being patient with the sporadic uploads. Um, I appreciate that you guys haven't like jumped ship. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.